Our constitution here in America states that all men are created equal, but that does not go the same for video game characters. Today why we're single, we're talking about the most OP characters, I mean overpowered. Now I'm going to take it back to a very old game that most of you probably didn't play, Tecmo Super Bowl. Now we're looking at Bo Jackson of the Los Angeles Raiders of its time. Uh, <laughs> Now this character, like if you play as the Raiders and you give it to Bo Jackson, it's hilarious because he runs a whole half speed faster than everyone else. So you got his little sprite and people try and chase him and he's just kind of going all over and no one can ever tackle him. He, he'll run all the way back, he'll run all the way around the field. You'll find hilarious videos with a touchdown by Bo Jackson at the end. It's, it's hilarious and so OP and unfair to play as the Raiders in that game. Uh, if only the Raiders could have done that last season in real life we wouldn't be making fun of them as much. Oh yeah, I like football, I guess you didn't know that. Ah, overpowered characters, let's see. Uh, how about uh, we start with Oddjob from GoldenEye64. What a little bitch, the only character in the game that was like, yay high, you had to aim down to shoot him, and that was back in the day when aiming down was difficult. You had to hit R on the button and then move the thing down. You couldn't just aim down quickly, it sucked. It was lame, and anyone who picked him, you were like, ah, oh, get your big odd jab, that's not even fair, that's not cool. And he was right at ball level, too, so he's always just blasting you right in the balls whenever he came around a corner. He's just like, bah, and you'd have to go down, and then inevitably he would beat you. And then on the flip side, uh, you had the incredibly underpowered Mishkin, who was just this big fat dude, and he was really easy to hit. You could just spray bullets anywhere, and he'd just be like, oh, I'm taking so many bullets. They should have at least given odd job less life, so that... He, uh, he died quicker. Yeah, odd job sucked, way too overpowered. So this one, this character is not really like a competitive character, so you wouldn't say he's OP in a conventional sense, but I gotta go with Shao Kahn from the most recent Mortal Kombat. So first of all, he's got all those crazy unblockable hammer attacks that he'll just launch at you from across the screen, and you can't block them. If you're sitting there with your block up, you just get hit by it anyway, and then you're staggered, so you can just continue doing some kind of crazy combo. And then he has his x-ray attack, which most characters in that game is like, you know, 25% damage, 30% damage if you hit an x-ray. If Shao Kahn hits you with his x-ray, it's something insane like 60% of your life bar that's just gone, and then he can just continue to destroy your face. It, it's pretty ridiculous, and even on normal difficulty in that game, he was, like, ridiculously hard. Now, sticking to the time before balanced games, I'm gonna take a look at Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now there was a lot of people playing this game and a lot of hours spent just trying to find out the best characters, the most overpowered characters, what characters were broken. Definitely one of the most OP broken characters in all time is Sentinel from, from uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Now not only did he have high damage, but he also had high priority normal moves, fast fight canceling, fast flight movement, pushback moves, multiple projectiles, great assist, reach super fast recovery, just for a big guy, like, the devs put a lot of work into this character just to make him playable. Problem is, all the work that they put into him made him so OP. Again, this is before people could balance characters and, and before patches were coming out, so it was like, you had one character, either he was super good or he was filing behind. MVC3 has some broken characters per se, but they can be patched and there's good counters. There was no counters against if you had Sentinel, Magneto, and Storm on one team, game over. Game over. Especially with Sentinel who's so damn spammy, you just, just do like leg rockets or the arm rockets. Like, you couldn't touch him. Couldn't touch him. Too strong. Way to go. James Heller, pretty f***ing overpowered. When he starts the game, he can just run up buildings and sh and like, beat the hell out of anyone and take a million bullets, and then he can... He can not only transform into anyone, but then he can turn people into bio-bombs and then just wing them at other people and then they ex implode and suck everything in around them. And then if that isn't enough, he can just take part of a tank and rip it off and then smash the tank with its own turret. That seems a wee bit overpowered to me. Just a little. And if he doesn't want to just insta-kill the tank, he can just rip the turret off and then use it to shoot down helicopters and the rest of the enemies attacking him. And then he can call in giant abominations and shit. No, they weren't abominations. They were his pack or something. And then those things just destroy shit for you. They rip up pieces of the ground and just throw them at helicopters and shit. You didn't even really have to do anything. They'd just be like, hey uh, guys, go kill those choppers and whatever else needs killing. I'm gonna be over here eating a sandwich. He's eating a corned beef sandwich the entire game. I watched some competitive fighting, some competitive fighting games, and uh, I watched Marvel vs. Capcom 3 a lot, and 
I know he's not considered overpowered on a, like a professional level, but the Hulk in MVC3 is absolutely ridiculous. Any noob can pick up the Hulk and just destroy with him because he's got that heart attack that will like, you'll be able to hit through one attack. So someone could punch you, which would normally interrupt any other person's attack, and you will just keep swinging because you're the Hulk and do your heart attack, which you can then use to combo into other moves. The Hulk is so overpowered, and now, Maybe this kid's some prodigy, but Evo last year, there was some like eight-year-old kid in the top eight or top 16 or something in Marvel vs. Capcom. It's because he was using the Hulk, and it's just because he can take that one hit and then still keep hitting and continue that combo. But the character's ridiculous. I mean, I can go up against my friend Flitz. My friend Flitz over at Node, and I can play with the Hulk and beat him, and I'm so much worse at fighting games. That guy has a fight stick, and he's, he's sitting there playing all day and, and learning combos, and I can still beat him by cheesing him to death with the Hulk and Dormammu and every other cheesy character in that game that a bunch of people don't realize are just ridiculously overpowered. So yeah, maybe I was one of those guys that was finding out every tiny detail about what made a character overpowered so I can actually win a few rounds. Whatever. That's why I'm single. I don't care. I care a little bit.